you, you Mima said, "Hey." Yeah. yeah she, she said, did. "Congratulations." Gotta love, love gotta, you gotta, Mima. gotta love your Mima's. My the Troop Jackson here at Legacy FC 25. I'm here with tonight's winner, American Bad Boy, Charlie Ontiveros. Charlie, you were taking on Caleb Cummings, uh, a southpaw, hard hitter. What was your mindset going into the fight with him this evening? I didn't want to get hit. That's one. And uh, I knew my stand was going to be a little bit better, so I knew he was going to try to keep me on the cage or try to take me down. So we worked so much cage work, so much groundwork. I don't even think we worked too much on my stand-up, except for uh, just working the inside. But, man, th he got me against the cage. Everybody screaming, knees, knees, knees. And I felt my arms slipping on that neck. I was like, no, I'm not going to do the knees. I'm going to go ahead and choke him out. Man, in the first round, you were definitely on your bicycle, man. You, you were definitely circling. But the straight shots, the jabs, and the crosses were landing. Uh, you actually gave him a cut under his right eye. What did your corner tell you in between rounds uh, to go in for the, uh, how to go in for the kill? Uh, you know, they honestly don't tell me go in for a kill. They tell me go in there, have fun, bring them a piece every round. If we finish them, we finish them. But we're going out there winning. We're going out there having fun. And after the first round, he was bleeding, so I brought him the eye. Yeah. Uh, uh, Let's bring some else back. <laughs> uh, everyone knows you. you. I mean, you have a dynamic style, a lot of flashy kicks. Uh, in the first round, you caught him with an axe kick. We have, we don't, we don't see that quite often. Uh, and it looked like you rocked him a little bit. How, how do you think that the axe kick affected him at all? Like, cause was he hurt? Uh, I, don't, I don't know if he was really hurt, hurt, but it definitely, definitely wobbled him and sent him backwards. But I didn't want to rush and him come back. And it, well, he wasn't rocked or anything, so I, I gave it time. And man, axe kick, taekwondo, that's what I was known for, axe kick. And man, I got so far away from it and trying to bring back the old Charlie. Second round, again, you push up against the fence, uh, and you got him with a standing guillotine. What made you feel that it was okay to get that? I mean, because it seemed like he was trying to get out of it, but how, how confident were you in it that you had it secured? As soon as I felt the neck on my my form, I knew I had it. I just had to grab my fingers and pull them up. And he tried to fight and pull, and like, I don't know if the legs were coming at my head or not, but it definitely freaked me out. So I was like, I'm gonna get him against the cage. And I got it, man. Back in your winning ways, what's next for Charlie Ontiveros? Whatever legacy wants to put me with, man. I, I'm here to get to the top and whatever they throw, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go right through. Charlie Ontiveros, congratulations. I just want to thank God, Jesus Christ. Without them, none of this is possible. That's all I got to say. And Mima. And Mima. Mima. Love you, Mima.